Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today here at Golden Care. Um, if you have not visited our website, I highly recommend the goldencareagent.com. Our site is flush uh, with agent information and resources to help you improve your sales and maximize your opportunities with your clients. Uh, you can also reach us here at our home office at 1-800-842-7799, and we are always happy to help. Uh, we have a special guest with us today. Uh, we're really excited about having her. Her name is Christy Myers, and she's from Mutual of Omaha. Mutual of Omaha, as you all probably know, is our premier carrier partner here at Golden Care, and we value that relationship at the highest level, with Christy being a big part of that. Uh, Christy is a sales director at Mutual of Omaha for Medicare supplement, dental, and prescription drug plans. Uh, she's been with Mutual for over 25 years, serving in marketing and sales roles for the major majority of her tenure. In her current position, she fosters brokerage relationships and has the experience it takes to promote the Medicare Solutions portfolio at Mutual of Omaha, as well as providing training, support, and sales results. Christy is actually a native of Omaha, Nebraska, and in her free time, she enjoys traveling, watching football, cooking, making craft cocktails, and camping with her husband, Justin, and her dog, Ginger. With AEP fast approaching this Friday, October 15th, there's no better time to talk about Medicare than today uh, to get you all ready and fired up for the selling season. So with that, I'd like to introduce Christy Myers. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Chris, for that wonderful introduction. And as I know, we're all busy as we ramp up here for AEP, which will be here before we know it, just a few more short days. I want to start this morning with just going over a few things regarding Mutual of Omaha as a carrier. So for those of you that don't know, we have been around for a very, very, very long time. In fact, we were founded back in 1909. So that means you have more than 111 years of experience at work for you. We continue to have record setting years with respect to our Medicare supplement portfolio. Last year was no different, in which case we finished the year with over 3.1 billion in earned MedSup premium. And we are very, very proud of our strong financial ratings, especially with AM Best, in which case we do have an A plus rating. And as you are out doing maybe some Medicare supplement rate quotes, I really encourage you to take a look at what those other carriers have for an AM Best rating. I think you're gonna see that it is very rare to see an A plus rating from a carrier for a MedSup policy. So definitely take a look at that when you're doing your rate quotes. With respect to experience, well, we now have over 56 years of MedSup experience under our belt. In fact, we have been selling Medicare supplements since Medicare began back in 1966. And we currently do hold the position of the second largest Medicare supplement provider in the United States. And then also lending to our strong foundation is our corporate form as a mutual company which allows for us to serve our customers, not shareholders. A few more quick points regarding Mutual of Omaha and why people write so much business with Mutual, especially with respect to Medicare supplement, is that we're easy to do business with. I hear consistently from agents that they love our customer service, they love the fact that our claims teams, our underwriting teams, basically all of the support teams are located in Omaha, Nebraska, in that we've made life for them very easy, which makes them look good in the eyes of their consumers. With respect to underwriting, we have a very talented team. We probably have around 35 to 40 full-time underwriters that work year round. Right now, that team has ramped up at least over 100, I think, as we get ready for AEP. I'm like, I know this is Medicare supplement, but it's our busiest time of year. You maybe think it's only Medicare Advantage enrollments that are taking place right now, but this is our busiest time and this team is going to shine. Um, they really strive to maintain time service, which typically is between two to five days, even during AEP. So if you ever have a question, the other benefit of working with us is that you do have direct access to the underwriter that is specifically working on the case that you might have questions on. You are free to email them, you are free to call them and talk to them directly. You're not gonna go into any generic queue. So I really encourage you right now, if you have a moment with a pen and pencil, paper handy, write down the phone number for underwriting, which is 800-995-1111. 
888-985-9324. And if you ever have a question regarding if somebody maybe could potentially qualify for coverage, um, you can also send in a pre-screen email and someone from the underwriting staff will get back to you. That email address is msuw at mutualofomaha.com. All right, a few more quick bullets here before we get into a deeper dive regarding Medicare supplement specifically. Uh, we don't charge a policy fee on our MedSup apps or our dental applications. We do offer a 12 month rate guarantee from the MedSup policy effective date. And let me kind of describe how that would work. So let's pretend you're gonna take an enrollment today for somebody who actually has a, they're turning 65 in February. We would allow for you to take that application today, ink it, have it sent in and processed, and it would issue. The MedSup 12 month rate guarantee would actually not be effective from today, the day you took the app. It's actually gonna start on 2-1, the date the coverage would be effective, and it would be good for 12 months from that date. And then speaking of rate adjustments, all our MedSup policies are administered as anniversary rated, meaning the consumer could expect a rate uh, change on their policy anniversary date. So they're always gonna know when that potential rate change could occur. So in that previous example, their MedSup rate adjustment would occur on 2-1 of the following year. If you are on a contract with advancing for MedSup, we don't charge interest on advancing. And then I also wanna point out that if you are actively writing, Mutual of Omaha actually pays for your state appointment fees as long as you continuously are writing business with us. So that might be unique from some other carriers that you might write business with. Okay, so now let's take a look at our Medicare supplement portfolio. And I wanna start off with the underwriting companies that we currently underwrite our Medicare supplement product under. Now there are five of them here listed and it's easier for me to kind of describe what's going on by looking at our state footprint map. So this map is has kind of a lot going on, but let's kind of go through a few things. So I am in Omaha, Nebraska, which is right in the middle of this country. And you can see Nebraska is coded as purple. If we look at the key, purple means new business sales in Nebraska are gonna be underwritten by United World Life Insurance Company. Underneath the state name, is going to be the plans that are available for sale within that given state. So in Nebraska, it's going to be plan A, F, high deductible F, G, high deductible G, and plan N. The number, if there is a number, is going to reflect what the household discount percentage is within a given state. So in Nebraska, it's 12%, and I'll touch base on what the requirements are for that here in just a moment. If we kind of look around the country maybe a little bit, you can see South Dakota is pink, so that's gonna be Omaha Insurance Company. Minnesota is also color-coded as pink, sold for new business as Omaha Insurance Company. And you can really see across most of the country that the underwriting companies do vary for new business, and you can see the plans that are available there. And the team at Golden Care does have this map available um, to share out if you need a copy of it. All right, so I promised you we'd talk about the household discount. And if you looked at that map, the majority of the states actually had a 12% household discount. And for us to qualify for the 12% 12, 12 household discount, it's very easy. And the way a person would qualify when you're taking their application is, do they live with their spouse of any age? And they're married, that's it. The, the spouse does not need to be Medicare eligible. The spouse does not have to have a Mutual of Omaha Medicare supplement policy. Simply the fact that they are married and residing with the spouse, that would qualify them for the household discount. In addition, they can qualify for the 12% household discount if they live with somebody who is at least age 60 or older, and they have done so for the last 12 months. Once again, that individual does not have to be Medicare eligible, nor do they have to have a policy with Mutual of Omaha to qualify for the 12%. Now, that's the basic rule for the majority of states. There are a few state exceptions regarding that, but in general, those would be the rules. And based on these two requirements, we would find that typically between 85 to 88% of people 
would fall into the category of being eligible for the 12% household discount. Now there's a few states that do have a 7% household discount, in which case those states are going to indicate that two people within the household do have to have a Medicare supplement policy with Mutual of Omaha or one of our affiliates to qualify for that 7%. And then there are a handful of states such as Minnesota that do not currently have a household discount available at this time. So you might be wondering, what have we been working on this year from a product portfolio perspective? And really we've been busy with our product and actuarial team to come out with some new MedSup rates in a large portion of the United States. So kind of, let's take a look at a few of the states that have recently launched new Medicare supplement rates within their given state. So on this list is 12 states. All of these have become new underwriting companies this year with new rates available within these areas. Um, it's been an exciting year. We're done with all of these launches at this time. Uh, last week, the two states that did launch with new rates were Michigan and Oregon. So if we take a look at Michigan, which is right here in the middle of the chart, we are now selling in Michigan as Omaha Supplemental Insurance Company. And for a female age 67, non-tobacco with the household discount applied, the Plan G rate is coming in at $99. And for Plan N, it's $72.12. So you can see very competitive pricing across a good portion of the country. Uh, while these states all look really competitive, I think you're going to see that Mutual of Omaha in general is competitive across a large portion of the United States and not just these states here listed. <clears throat> all right, so speaking of Plan N, I kind of wanted to give a little shout out to Plan N and share some more detail on what we are seeing from a carrier perspective on Plan N. So Plan N is currently our fastest growing plan with more and more consumers choosing this option. It's a great option for those people who might be leaving employer health coverage. It's good for Medicare Advantage enrollees who are looking to return to original Medicare. And it's really good for anybody who wants really comprehensive coverage with some cost sharing at an affordable price. But you might be wondering about excess charges. So although Plan N does not pay a benefit for excess charges. The reality is most MedSup claims don't include excess charges, and here's why. The majority of US healthcare providers accept Medicare assignment, meaning they agree to accept the Medicare approved amount for payment, so excess charges will not be passed on to patients. A recent study found that 93% of primary care physicians in the US accept Medicare. In addition, there's actually some states that have passed laws that don't allow for excess charges to be passed on to beneficiaries. And do you need more proof that excess charges are rare? In reviewing our Plan G claims data, which as a reminder, Plan G does provide a benefit for excess charges, claims with an excess charge included make up less than 0.3% of all Part B claims paid. In any given year, Mutual of Omaha roughly pays on more than 55 million Medicare Supplement Part B claims. I also want to share that of that 0.3% of Part B claims that come in with an excess charge, over 90% of those claims are for an amount under $30. Now, please note, the most common reason for an excess charge to be submitted is going to be on durable medical equipment. So to really help your consumers prevent exposure to excess charges, share with them how they can help confirm whether or not their healthcare provider and or their durable medical equipment provider accepts Medicare. And the websites you would need to visit are here on screen, which both of them fall under medicare.gov. All right, shifting gears from MedSup, I wanna talk about some value adds that come with the Medicare supplement policy when you sell a Mutual of Omaha plan. And while there's three here, we actually have four, we just launched a new one. So let's take a deeper dive into what these value adds are. 
And really at the end of the day, they are not insurance, but they are discount programs that help your consumer save money on services that they maybe are getting from a third party vendor that we have partnered with. So the first one is going to be Mutually Well. Now, Mutually Well is our fitness and wellness value add. And at no charge to them is the availability of some discounts um, by using providers that offer maybe chiropractic discount, acupuncture discount, discounts on some healthy living products. There's also a free mobile app that they can download that would have things such as a walking plan for them to follow. Those come at no cost to them. What does have a cost is the ability for them to join um, at optionally a gym membership. Now the gym membership is $25 a month plus tax, in which case they would have the ability to access one of more than 10,000 fitness locations nationwide. They don't have to pay an enrollment fee to join these gyms. They can stop and restart their memberships at any time. They can go to one in-network gym one day and another another day. Really, it's up to them. So the gym membership portion of Mutually Well is optional and has that $25 a month fee associated with it. Moving on to our hearing health benefit program. Uh, this one is offered through Amplifon and it is going to provide some money saving offers on hearing aids, the testing and diagnostic services associated with their hearing health. And they do get a copy of the Amplifon flyer within their policy output for MedSub. Next up for value adds is um, for vision care, and this is offered through IMED, in which case it helps to provide some low cost pricing on exams. It also provides discounts on frames and lenses and some other services that are gonna help them save money when they use an IMED uh, network provider. And then this is the new one that I mentioned. So LO Care Health is our newest value add and it's going to be an advanced medical alert system that provides 24 hour emergency response, no long-term contracts. And by, be, by being a Mutual of Omaha customer, it provides a discount on hardware and monthly monitoring services for the consumer. Now in the majority of states, you are actually allowed at this point in time to talk about all of those programs pre-sale. However, I want to point out on screen, there's a few states in which the programs are not available in, and that's going to be primarily California and New York. And then there are a handful of states, in which case at this time, you cannot talk about those items pre-sale. They would have to be after sale discussions. And I do want to point out if there's visitors today on the line from Minnesota, uh, that is one in which case you cannot talk about them pre-sale. All right, so that was kind of Medicare supplement. Um, I wanna talk now about some tools that are gonna help you, especially as we gear up here toward AEP. So the first thing I wanna to touch base on is Sales Professional Access or SPA. And this is gonna be your one-stop shop for everything you need to do as an agent to write and manage business with Mutual of Omaha. Now, when you log in, this is what your homepage looks like. And there are a few things here that I want to point out and they are numbered and we'll go through each one. So number one, case status. It's over here on the far right hand side. This is not only health uh, case status for MedSup, but for all of the products that Mutual of Omaha offers. So definitely check this section out. This is where any open requirements on cases that are pending would be. It is also where you can see the status on PDP enrollments that you have maybe taken. Number two, right in the middle. This is all of the recent reports that have been sent to you. This could be compensation or policy conservation opportunities. Number three, products. That tab is going to be housing any product information as well as underwriting guides, training videos. It is also where you go to complete your PDP certification process for Mutual of Omaha RX, and we will touch more on that toward the end. Number four on the bottom left, forms and materials. This is where all of the approved marketing material, including applications and outlines and outlines of coverage are actually housed. So you, if you needed to download an application and print that off for your given state, 
you could come down here to forms and materials and you would be able to retrieve that. Number five, e-applications. This is right above the forms and materials. This is where you would go to do a electronic enrollment for the product lines that have an e-application available for them. Go ahead and click that button and they will all present themselves. Number six on the top left hand side is policyholder information. If you have the policy number or the name or last four digits of your client and need additional details, you can find that information by going to policyholder information view. Number seven, under sales and marketing, back up on the top ribbon. This is going to be including information on any incentive programs and such as mutual sales leaders and marketing credits. And I'll touch base on that toward the end of this presentation. And then maybe most importantly right now is number eight. That's the profile image in the far right hand corner. This is where you need to go to ensure that we have your current contact information. You can check your appointment status. You can also check direct deposit information underneath the profile image. All right, I mentioned the eApps on that previous page. And as we are gearing up for AEP, I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you the signature options available for our Medicare supplement and our dental e-applications. Uh, just to share a little bit of how far we've come with e-apps when we launched our MedSub e-app tool back in 2011, really we thought, man, if we could ever get to 50% e-app adoption, that would be wonderful. Well, we have far exceeded that. And at this point in time, we are over 80% of the Medicare supplement applications come in via e-app. And with great reason, we have continually made improvements to that tool. And it really is the most efficient way for you and your client to enroll for coverage. So let's talk about how you can get them to sign these electronic applications that you're going to be taking. The first is going to be e-signature. And e-signature for Mutual of Omaha MedSub is going to mean once you have completed the application within the tool, the system can generate an email out to your client. They'll get the email and it will come from Mutual of Omaha and it will tell them that their MedSub app is ready for signature. They open up the email, they authenticate themselves with using their date of birth, and then when they're into the website, they will review a completed PDF portion of the application that you completed with them. If they agree to the terms and conditions of that app, they will click that they agree, and then they submit the app by clicking a big orange button that says Submit Application. The other way to e-sign is going to be to have your client go to a website, which is signyourmedsupapp.com. When they go to that website, what will happen is you will provide to them the application authorization number, which is on your agent thank you page. You give that to them and then they authenticate with that number as well as their date of birth. From there, the process is the same as the email signature. They'll review the PDF, agree to the terms and conditions and submit the app. The other option available for e-signature is going to be actually a voice signature. In which case, what will happen is on your agent thank you page, an 800 number will present itself. You will provide that 800 number to the client as well as the authorization number for the app. They call the 800 number and all they are doing is uh, listening to the state requirements for the state in which they reside in. At the very end, the IVR will ask for them to agree to the application by stating their name, today's date, and that they agree. Once they do that, they submit the application through the telephone and it's done and it's now a completed voice signature. The last option for signature is actually a wet signature, which is going to kind of mimic a paper signature. But what it will do is ensure that everything is in good order on that application and nothing has been missed. So you will complete the application just as if it was going to be, let's say an e-signature. And then there is a question on the application that says, will this be a print for wet signature app? If you mark that as yes, from that point forward, it will act just like a paper app would. You would print it off, have the client review it, they will wet sign it, you'll sign it, and then you would fax it in just like you would have a paper application. All right, so that was signature method. So let's kind of change gears once again. And I wanna cover a little bit regarding our dental insurance products that we have available for you. So we know dental is very popular, especially within the Medicare space. 
and we do have two dental plans available that will act that were actually designed for the senior space. Um, but I do want to point out that the two dental plans from Mutual of Omaha are actually issue ages of 19 to 99. So they are guaranteed issue and they are unisex community rated. Now the two plans that we have available are referred to as the preferred plan, which is the one in the middle shaded in blue, as well as the protection plan, which is on the far right hand side. A few things I want to point out regarding both of these plans is they both have a relatively small deductible. On the preferred plan, you can see there's no deductible for preventive services. And then for basic and major, it's a small $50 calendar year deductible. On the protection plan, it's a $100 deductible for all services combined. Both of these plans then pay preventive at 100%. For basic services, such as a filling or a simple extraction, the preferred plan pays at 80%, the protection plan at 50%. Both plans do cover for major services, such as a crown or a root canal after a 12 month waiting period, and they both pay at 50%. And then you can see the calendar year benefit of 1500 or 1000. And then the other thing I wanna point out is both of these plans do offer a lifetime benefit on implants. Uh, which is something you might not see with other dental products within the market. Now, we do run both of these plans through a network, and we have partnered with Dentamax Plus for our network, which includes participating dentists in the Dentamax, the United Concordia, and the Connection Dental Networks. At this point in time, the network does consist of over 394,000 in-network dental provider locations nationwide. And then I also want to point out that the benefit of using a dental plan that is um, has in-network dentists is that those dentists have agreed to offer services at a discounted rate, which means out-of-pocket costs for your consumer should be lower. In fact, depending on the state, then the the negotiated savings by using an in-network provider can range anywhere from 25 to 55%. Now, if you're curious about what does the network look like, uh, we love our map. So here's the dental map, and it's showing the product availability as well as the number of in-network dental providers. So if we look at Minnesota, you can see in the state of Minnesota, there are 8,857,000 in-network dental provider locations within the state of Minnesota. If you pop on over to Wisconsin, it's 3248, so on and so forth. And then you can see we have product approved in all states across the entire country, except for New York and Massachusetts. And then there's also some shading here, which there's one state that does not have the darker blue, and that is Washington. And all that is indicating that the state of Washington is not approved for the multi-policy discount that we have available. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. So one of the first questions a client might ask you is, well, the dental plan sounds great, but I need to know if my dentist is in network. So to determine if a dentist is in network, here is the website that you would have them go to, which is going to be dentistsforme.com forward slash mutual of Omaha. All right, so I mentioned that 15% multi-product discount, and the way that the multi-product discount program works is when you sell a Medicare supplement and a dental plan together, the dental policy receives a 15% multi-product discount. Now, if you're not gonna sell them exactly at the same time, which we have made it really easy for you to cross-sell when you do use an e-application, um, the way the discount would work is as if you don't do it at the same time, as long as you sell the dental policy within 30 days after the Medicare supplement policy issues, they will then receive the 15% multi-product discount on the dental. If it's beyond that 30-day window, they would not be eligible for the 15% discount on the dental policy. So great opportunity to to get some additional cross sales. The pricing on the plans are very competitive, um, usually somewhere between $250 to maybe $450 annually. So definitely take a look and take advantage of cross selling and adding in that 15% discount. 
All right, so how do you enroll somebody? I mentioned we did make it really easy for you to seamlessly cross-sell the dental after a MedSub app, in which case the 15% discount would actually automatically take itself into consideration when you do both of them together. And then all the data that you entered in for the Medicare supplement app will auto-populate into the dental app, in which case at that point, there's only one question you need to answer on the dental app, which would be, is this a replacement policy? And then from there, you're really going to be done. So you would be able to finish that dental e-application within a matter of minutes. And then there is also a standalone dental e-app that you can use. And then if you do like paper applications, we do have paper applications available as well. All right, so here's some sample rates, and I just pulled these out from Michigan, and this is showing you with the 15% discount uh, what those rates actually look like. So I mentioned really competitive, coverage is available everywhere except for New York and Massachusetts. So definitely take a look, increase your cross-selling, and I think you'll have some happy consumers on your um, side of things. And then just a little pro tip, um, you can actually download our mobile quote app to get pricing, not only for MedSup and Dental, but for all of our products. And you can download the right quote app in your respective app store. And all you need to do is search for quotes for sales professionals, and then download that app and you can get pricing on the go. All right, so this is new. Um, as of October 1st and running through December 7th, we are running a cash for app incentive for you in which case for each dental app that you issue with the MedSub app, we're gonna pay you $100 up to $500. So the more cross-selling you do, the more opportunity you have to earn that additional $500 by selling dental with a MedSub. All right, so now I wanna shift gears. What I've been talking about has been dental insurance. And now I wanna kind of share some details regarding a new dental savings plan that we have available. Now, dental savings plan is going to be great for consumers who are looking for an affordable dental option without taking out a traditional dental insurance policy by enrolling in the Mutual of Omaha Dental Savings Plan. So depending on where they live and the services performed, uh, members could expect to have savings of five to 60% on their dental care, such as for cleanings, routine checkups, fillings, and more. There are no underwriting questions, so everybody who applies is accepted, and members can choose their membership type, which can include coverage for family members. Uh, the dental savings plan can be used as many times as they need, and membership can be canceled at any time. And I do wanna point out the discount plan organization and administrator is Carrington International Corporation. Here is the pricing for the memberships. Um, you can see very affordable at $99 annually for member only, $139 for member plus one, and then $169 for member plus family. And I do wanna point out that this is a commissionable product for you. Now, because this is a different network than the two insurance products that I covered earlier, I also wanna point out where you would go to see if a provider is in network for the savings plan. And that is listed here on screen, which is going to be mutualofomaha.com forward slash dental insurance forward slash find a dentist forward slash savings. And then if you were interested in enrolling somebody into the dental savings plan, at this point in time, e-application is the only available option to enroll someone. Paper enrollments are not available at this time. All right, so I shared some information on one incentive that we have going on right now, and I wanted to go through a few more items that we have going on, just in time for AEP. So the first is going to be a promotion known as Say It Loud. And Say It Loud is currently available within the states of Michigan and Oregon, and it is going in conjunction with our new rates that we just released last week on October 7th in both of those states. And the way this program works is if you issue five or more MedSub apps in either one of these states, you can earn an additional $200. 
And then our mainstay incentive program for Medicare supplement is known as our MedSub Broker Bonus Program. And this program is currently set to run throughout the end of 2021. And how this program works is in any given month in which you have five or more issued MedSub apps within a given state, and there are a few state exceptions, but the ones that qualify are noted on the flyer. If you have that five or more issued app threshold, the apps then pay $150 on fully underwritten and $30 on OE. And there's no maximum amount that you can earn. So the sky is the limit. The next program I'm gonna say is definitely unique to the market space as I haven't found another carrier that offers something quite like this. So it is our MedSup and Dental Marketing Credits Program. And how this program works is for MedSup, same thing as the MedSup Broker Bonus, any month in which you have five or more issued MedSup apps, you earn marketing credits at the rate of 1% of the annualized new business premium that it has issued. Those credits then go into your bank. And as your bank continues to grow, you can then redeem those credits uh, for business growing activities that you've maybe done. So maybe you had purchased leads from a vendor, maybe you did a mailing, maybe you created a, went to a conference. However many credits you have in your bank, we will reimburse you for that in the form of cash. And you can also earn dental marketing credits. Uh, any month in which you issue two or more dental applications, you earn credits at the rate of 2% of the annualized new business premium. And once again, no maximum amount can be earned here. Sky's the limit. And I have agents that earn thousands of dollars within both of these programs, simply by promoting Mutual of Omaha, MedSup, and Dental. All right, London Vibe. Who would not love to join us in the spring of 2022 in London, England? And this is our recognition program for agents known as mutual sales leaders. To qualify for this program, you earn production credits by selling both MedSup and Dental, and they our credits are earned at $1 or one production credit per dollar of annualized new business premium. If you're cur curious on your status toward tracking toward this trip, you can visit mutualsalesleaders.com to see where you are currently at with respect to joining us in London. All right, last thing I wanna to touch on before we close out here today is going to be a sneak peek at our 2022 prescription drug plans. And first and foremost, most importantly right now is to ensure that you are ready to sell as of Friday of this week. And I wanna cover how you do that. So there are two ways in which you can certify to become ready to sell for Mutual of Omaha RX. The first option is option one, in which case you would need to complete AHIP for 2022 and the Mutual of Omaha RX product training. The other way in which you can certify for 2022 is to take the Mutual of Omaha RX compliance training and the 2022 Mutual of Omaha product training. So let's go into a little bit more detail on the compliance component for those two options. So the first is AHIP. If you've already taken AHIP, all you need to do is get us a copy of your AHIP cert, or you can upload it on Sales Professional Access and get that to us. If you have not taken AHIP and you need to, you do receive a discount when you take it through Sales Professional Access. That discount is $50. If you don't wanna do AHIP and you find yourself that you are only going to be selling the Mutual of Omaha RX products for this upcoming AEP and into next year, you have the option to actually take our product specific compliance training. Now this training, there's no cost to it for you to take it and you have completed all through the module on sales professional access. Do know in order to take the training, you do have to have an Omaha Health Insurance Company contract with us to take and obtain that training. And you do need a passing score of 90% within three attempts. 
So once again, training, you either do a hip or the Mutual of Omaha RX specific training, you don't need to do both. Once you've done the compliance portion, then everyone is required to take the Mutual of Omaha RX product training. And to get to the product training, you would go on to Sales Professional Access. And if re you remembered on that homepage I showed you on the top ribbon was the product tab. Click the product tab, go to Medicare Solutions, then select prescription drug plans, and then the trainings will be right there available on screen. There's no cost to complete the Mutual of Omaha RX product training. You do have to have a contract with us in order to take the training. You do have to go through all slides and pass the assessment in order to be considered to complete. And you do need a passing score for the product training of at least 85% within three attempts. Now, if you're curious to see if you are ready to sell for 2022, it's very easy. Everyone has access to verify if they are ready. And to do so, what you would do, log on to Sales Professional Access, select the Reports tab from the top menu bar, go to Case Monitoring, and then you're going to see a link on the right-hand side that says PDP Ready to Sell Status Summary. Filter to plan your 2022, and then you will be able to verify your status for this enrollment season. All right, touching base on the product information for 2022, I do want to point out that our preferred plan does, <clears throat> excuse me, our premier plan does participate in the federal insulin program in which case the co-pays for that with that plan are going to be $25 for a 30-day supply when the member does go use a preferred pharmacy and mail order. So I want to point that out because a lot of other carriers have a $35 copay, which is the maximum amount allowed by CMS. And then regarding the two plans that we will have available in market for this year, they are the same as what they were last year, which is going to be our premier plan and then our plus plan. And on the premier, panel, premier plan, there are no deductibles for tier one and two, and then tiers three through five, the deductible is $480. On the RX plus plan, it's going to be a $480 deductible for the year. Regarding the premier plan, which is our most popular plan, I also want to point out on tier one preferred generics, there's no co-payments. And then you can see the rest of the product details here on screen. With respect to pricing, uh, we do sell the Mutual of Omaha RX plans in all regions except for New York. And we are coming in this year on the premier plan in the mid 30s. Uh, and then on the plus plan, it's gonna be in the mid 80s uh, across most of the country. And you can see in Minnesota, if we have a lot of callers there, um, you can see our pricing in the premier plan is $34. And then on the plus plan, it will be $78.80. And then with respect to our pharmacy, our preferred pharmacy network is through CVS, but we also have a lot of other preferred pharmacies considered to be in network, which would include Walmart, local grocery store chains, as well as uh, many local uh, pharmacies within the area. So with that, I know we covered a lot today, meds up, dental, and PDP, but tis the season. And more than anything, I wanna thank everyone on the line today for your partnership and business throughout the years. Chris, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Christy. We really appreciate you coming on and joining us today. Um, I know we've gone uh, maybe a little bit long. I'm not sure what our total time was, but do you have time for a few questions? I do. Okay. Just looks like there's just a few on here. I tried answering as many as I could as I came through. Um, all right. So Amy wants to know, where do we find uh, uh, participating gyms for the, um, the Mutually Well? Uh, Amy, you can visit mutuallywell.com. Okay, um, let's see. Can you provide the dental savings link again? Uh, Ruth would like to know. Yes, How, Chris, can I email it to you? You bet, we can forward okay. that off to you, Ruth, and anybody else who has uh, that same question, feel free to reach out to us at 
um, our on our website there, or otherwise you can email us at marketing at goldencareusa.com and we can get that over to you, no problem. Um, let's see, except this licensing question, we can figure that out. Looks like that's pretty much it. So um, once again, thank you again for everything, Christy. Um, I really, I really appreciate, or excuse me, I really enjoyed the presentation and I hope that you all did too. Again, for any questions regarding Mutual of Omaha and their products or any other product or carrier uh, here at Golden Care, please visit our website at goldencareagent.com or you can call our marketing team at 1-800-842-7799. Check out our website, goldencareagent.com or give us a call at 800-842-7799.